largest news team on the Central Coast with important local coverage. This is KCOI 12 Central Coast News at 5 o'clock. I think they believe that the, the Internet is permanent. Our top story at 5, a Facebook post leads to a high school student's arrest. Good evening, I'm Scott Hennessy. And I'm Melissa Mahan. Thanks for joining us. Police say that post showed a San Luis Obispo high school student wearing military clothing and posing with airsoft guns. Now here's a look at a picture of some airsoft guns taken from eBay. These guns look similar to real weapons, but they are just replicas that shoot paintballs or other materials. But San Luis Obispo police took the images seriously. KCOY 12's Natalie Tavidian is live in San Luis Obispo. Natalie, that's one reason they say they arrested this young man. That's right, Scott, and police haven't released much information about that photo, but they say that it was credible enough to make the arrest. I also spoke with some parents near the high school today who say that it's important to teach teens to think before they post, and that's really something that's taught on many school districts today. In this fast-paced world of social media, words and images are posted in seconds. It's those words and images that can get you in trouble. San Luis Obispo police say that's what happened to one San Luis Obispo high school student. Officers arrested a student on suspicion of making a criminal threat after they were notified of certain photos the student posted on his Facebook timeline. Some parents in San Luis Obispo say it's time to have another talk with their kids about social media. I don't think they believe that the, the internet is permanent. So which ones are you printing right now? printing one on uh, bullying, which includes cyberbullying. Rick Robinette is the assistant superintendent for the San Luis Coastal Unified School District. He says there are four branches of social media issues on its campuses, including curriculum for kids as young as kindergarten through the 12th grade and policies of discipline for cyberbullying and threats to schools. So cyberbullying includes the creation or transmission of communications, posting of harassing messages. The district says there is no way to keep up. Very hard to uh, uh, to kind of get in control of things that have to do with privacy, freedom of speech, when is social media have a nexus to school, when, when doesn't it? What's the fine line? When does the school get involved with a student's social media? Specifically when there's a nexus to school. That's really what the, the courts have pretty much established that what's most important for us is that when there is uh, something that has the potential of affecting students. Parents say this is a teaching moment for their children to be careful. I tell the kids to be very careful because employers are looking. They go right to Facebook and kids are losing jobs and they wonder why, but they're posting everything. Now, the school district, they won't comment on this specific case because they tell us it remains under investigation. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, Natalie Tavidian, KCOY 12 Central Coast News.